Hello everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Xeno Fighters R. Um, a fun game for the PC, I shoot them up. Um, actually, I got a couple of things in between part 1 and 2, some information about this game. I didn't find any other demo apart from this one, this is from 2011. I didn't see further updates. I think I might have seen a video from the creator himself with some improvements. But I didn't see like a link to a newer version of this. It seems to be a little bit discontinued. Uh, at least like a final release or something like that. And the other thing, you probably guys are familiar with Mushroom Kingdom Fusion, which is one huge project that's been going on for so many years. A fun game that initially was a Mario fun game. In the meantime, I actually want to start playing. This music is... Okay, why is it lagging? Uh, I think it was... I stopped the game for so long, I don't know. Okay, did it get fixed? Wait, boss already? I just started the level. Stymphalian birds. Could be like a mini boss. Yeah, so um, I was telling you about Mushroom Kingdom Fusion. Initially it was like a Mario fun game project and then started to expand using other characters from other NES games. So many Nintendo games, Sonic as well. Well, that project was created somehow. One of the main creators is a guy that goes by the name of Judge Spear. Well, it's the same guy that created this one game. <laughs> is that the message that appears when you die? The Zapdos' explosion wasn't very effective. Yeah, it's like, um, it's not quite a boss, but it, it's a bunch of big ships that you have to bypass yeah this music is so cool it's from Lords of Thunder probably my favorite horizontal shoot them up of all time <laughs> probably the reason why I, it's my favorite it's because it's not really hard and it's one of the few beat em ups that I've I mean sorry shoot em ups that I've been able to beat uh, legitimately. But of course, Lots of Thunder gives you the chance to improve your weapons, get extra lives. You don't die to one hit, but you have to take several hits before dying. So yeah, I guess it's one of my favorites because it's easy. Yeah, the explosion message appears when you die. There's so much shit going on. The thing is, there's a lot of explosions going on from enemies, and you think you die in one of those explosions, so I don't quite see myself when those explosions go on. Anyway, time for the fun for, for the actual boss. Okay, apparently this little lag it's been fixing itself, hasn't been making progress. I guess that's a matter, you know, it, it's not the game's fault, but my computer is actually giving those issues. But I still can play this game at. Oh, I should have chosen someone else. Um, I've been playing this game at. 60 FPS, even while recording. Unfortunately, while streaming is a different story because it gets super slow when I do that. So this stage was Portugal. I don't really know what game is basically referencing. I was reading a little bit about the game in general and it's mainly based on Raiden series. Yeah, the music... I, I, I know this music, it's from one of the Salamander games. Or Gradius, one of those. Oh wait, no, the, I think... Could be lighting, lighting something? There were many shooting mouse by Konami. Yeah, I'm probably mixing up radius with some other Konami shooter. I think it was lighting fighters, it was a uh, helicopter sh uh, vertical shoot them up. I think that's where the music is from, I'm not completely sure. But I know this is a Konami game.
Okay, this time when I get a game over, uh, get the continue screen, I'll make sure to choose someone else. There are so many ships to choose from, but I'm not familiar with most of them, clearly, so I'm gonna go for the ones that, well, could look similar, or, or sorry, could be familiar to you, as well as for myself. Like in this case, I chose, started by choosing the Strikers 1945, another, another one of my favorite Shinobi series. Strikers 1945 actually is mainly based on on Aero Fighters. Super similar to it. Not a complete copycat, clearly, but yeah, we we can say it's like like a ripoff, but it's a good ripoff. It's like the student became better than the master. If I'm not mistaken, these levels follow a sequ uh, the sequence from a lot of shoot em ups of the style. Basically, starting on Earth, exploring different environments, cities, landscapes, and then going to outer space in later levels. I think the same thing happens here. So, I I'm wondering do Moltres and Articuno take damage? It seems like they're receiving shots. I shouldn't have taken the extra life if I wanted to change character. Just saying. Well, somebody else. Double chain. <laughs> Double chin. Yeah, bombs is what I should get a lot of. Remember, I've been very useful for boss battles. They always are. <laughs> it's been like the third time I died right before the warning message for the boss appears. Yeah, as long as I don't need the bomb... There's no reason for me to use it, okay. I thought I was going to be able to dodge everything, I don't know. Wow, is that the energy bar? That was kind of a joke. And I haven't decreased the difficulty level. I've been playing on normal all this time. Leading to a path in outer space. It's the only p part of its, let's say, plot that I've been paying attention to. Oh yeah, Pokemon Farfur, of course. So yeah, it adapts to to the ship. Well, actually, this time, Sados isn't a ship. Dimensional Abyss. So we can say this is a sort of transition between levels taking place taking place on Earth and then outer space. Just an assumption. So is this my last life or second to last? Because I think I died a couple of times already, if not more, in this one credit. Well, this type of bomb is not the best for avoiding bullets from the side, but I've been able to survive those. Got an Articuno. We're gonna call it Articuno option. Well, I'm dead. That's life. It should be. There is another... Um, Fun game for the PC that I would like to show you right after this one. I mean, it's clearly a demo. It's gonna be one video, in fact. But I, I still want to show it to you because 
it's definitely worth a look. It's an amazing work in progress. Yeah, as you can see, the ships that come in groups and that have a different color from most of from you know the average color usually hold uh, items, options, missiles, extra weapons, things like that. Yeah. About time for me to make it to a boss without dying. I think I died once in this level anyway. Yeah. Throw a bomb. Shit. It's a bit too close. So yeah. I just needed to use two bombs. That's kind of cool. No fanfare? Oh, there it is. It's called Evolution Fanfare. Yeah, there it is, outer space. This is stage F. So yeah, as you can see, there are a lot of levels that are not complete, so it's like skipping numbers and letters. Because I was like just in stage six, so imagine the amount of uh, levels that I could have skipped already. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here for now. Let's see next time how many more levels I can play in this um, demo. Thank you for watching.